Okay, in this video, we're gonna make a, um, an extruder die. And um, so we'll start by uh, just changing the file name here, extruder demo, extruder die. And um, so we're gonna start here with a cylinder and let's pull this in there. Um, the dimensions that we would like to, we need to work with on this particular extruder. This is a Brent uh, um, extruder. And so 110 millimeters, and each direction will fit in the extruder handle, uh, or the holder, rather. Then we're going to make it about 15 millimeters thick. And this is thick, of course, but, um, but this, you know, we're going to print a plastic infill in here. And so this will be, you know, strong and, um, you know, shouldn't have a problem. And um, so we're going to make this, I don't need these edges here, so we're just going to select that and just bring this up into a round shape here. Okay, so now we have a basically a blank um, that will fit into the Brent extruder, okay? Most of the demos we've done so far, we've focused on these basic shapes here. Um, with this particular one, we're gonna go down here to the shape generators, and we're gonna click all. And then we're gonna, um, I just before the demo, kind of thought that this one here would be interesting, so we're gonna bring this in here and um, Okay, and so now uh, what I'm going to do is let me just rotate this around to 90 and so that we can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, okay, so now with the shape generators, there are all these different options here. And uh, so we're just going to kind of play around with the, I don't know what all these different particular ones mean here, but... Um, what I'm looking for is I'm thinking about a slab, basically extruding a slab that has a thickness here plus these little ridges. So, so let's make this base just a little bit thicker. Um, and let's just see what this one does here. Uh, let's change the angle, maybe make it a little bit wider angle here. And, um, you know, so something like that would might make it kind of an interesting shape, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make this bigger. So I have my 15 millimeter height here. And um, so I wanna make this, why is it doing that? Okay, uh, I wanna make this um, taller, okay, than 15. So uh, I'll just make it 25, just so that we know it's taller. Then I'm gonna bring this over and um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little longer so it's something more like 75 or so. Okay, let's just say 75 millimeters. And um, okay, so now one thing that we have to kind of picture here if we zoom out is that the holder has a ridge that goes around it. So um, that kind of comes up underneath. So we can't get too close to the edge here. So we gotta kind of think about that. So don't design something that's too close to the edge here or else it's gonna get chopped off with the holder, okay? So now I'm going to uh, center this or align this in both directions. So that's gonna center it this way. This is gonna center it this way. And now I have my shape um, centered into the um, die. So I'm going to push this down to make sure it goes all the way through. Okay, so now it's going all the way through. Now, this is a positive shape and a positive shape here. I want to make this into a negative shape. So I'm going to go to hole, click on hole. Now once it's a hole, I can, in order to make it actually cut through, I select the whole thing and go to group. When I go to group, that will actually then uh, cut through um, you know, cut through the, the extruder here, or the, uh, the die shape, okay? So now what I wanna do is, if I zoom in right here, um, I wanna bevel these a little bit so that it's easier for the clay to flow through here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here to the basic shapes, and I'm gonna try this roof shape. Now, if you have a more of a rounded shape in your extruder die, maybe the cone would work or the box maybe would work for more of an angular shape, but I think for this particular shape, the roof will work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this into a hole, and then I'm gonna rotate this upside down. Try to grab that right there, rotate that upside down, okay? And I'm gonna bring this up and bring it over to kind of have it hovering over the, um, uh, the, the 
hole that I've cut here. Now I'm gonna go down here and where it says snap grid, this is gonna snap to a one millimeter um, grid. I wanna be a much more precise with how I position this, so I'm gonna snap to a 0.1 millimeter. And this just gives me more options in terms of the control I have of, of snapping it there. So now what I need to do is, what I'm doing here is this will cut this angle here into the side here. And so what I'm going to do is I will start by just making it um, the same length here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out here and just kind of eyeball it for now. Then in order for me to see where this is going to cut, I need to push this down. And you will see it starts to, the darker areas are where it's going to cut. Okay, so... Um, what I want to do is I want to look at the the ends here and get this aligned first. So I don't want to cut into it because then I'm going to get this weird little angled cut in the ends. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right just barely so it doesn't cut into the edge there. Okay, so now I'll do that on the other end. And uh, let me see, let me get this over here and um, do the same thing let's just come in just barely like that okay so now that looks good now um if now that's looking pretty good actually so this is going to cut an angle here now i don't want to cut too far in okay so if i look at this i don't want to cut like down here to the bottom okay i just want to cut the top like third of this off here and um so this looks like it will make a pretty good um, angled cut here. So that's actually looking pretty good. You might have to kind of play with the dimensions here, the angle, you know, to get a decent cut. You know, you just want to cut like a roughly a 45 degree angle here. So, um, okay, so now that uh, that looks good, I'm going to select that. And again, in order to have that actually cut the shape, I need to group it. So select the whole thing, go to group, and now you will see that I have these this sort of angled, um, kind of a beveled shape here, okay? So now if I kind of zoom in on that, you'll kind of see how the clay will sort of flow in there, and um, it'll just be easier to extrude, okay? Now I guess I could have aligned that point right a little bit more there, but I think that'll be fine because that looks like a uh, flat surface there. Yeah. So, so that'll be, this will be good. Um, so now, uh, what I do is that is complete. I, the next thing I need to do is take it into Cura and prepare it to be 3d printed. Tinkercad will automatically save based on this chain on this file name here. But the next thing I need to do is go to export and export it as an STL file. Once I have the STL file, then I can bring it into Cura and, um, and adjust the settings so that the 3D printer will um, will print this in the right way. So, so that's it for this video. That's how you would make an extruder die shape. Um, the main thing is, is start with this. If you're using the extruder at the iOS Ceramic Studio, this is for the Brent round extruder. Um, use those same dimensions, 110 by 110 by 15 thick. Um, and um, if you're using a square extruder, you could redesign this for a square shape using the box shape here. Or if you have a different extruder, you can adjust the dimensions to fit in your extruder. So, um, and then the main thing is just to practice and experiment and know that you will probably not have something, um, you know, on the very first try here. So um, there's no reason to, you know, to not just experiment with some different shapes and um, have some extruder dies ready to go. And then when you get in the, in the studio, you know, you'll come up, you know, when you start seeing these shapes extruded, you'll, you'll come up with some ideas for how you might use this. This might be a slab that you could hand build with. You might take this on the wheel. You could use it maybe for some sort of a handle. Um, and um, so I'm sure when I extrude this, I'll come up with some interesting ways to use it in the work that I'm making. So, um, so just experiment and uh, have fun with it. And that is it for this video.